This video is about multiplicative growth and percents. So let's look at the first problem. 20% of Mr. Funk's cookie recipe is chocolate chips. If there are five cups in the entire batch of cookies, how many cups of chocolate chips are in the recipe? When we look at this, we want to start with our three word sentence. And to do that, we're going to need to, um, or a strategy you might use, is to underline the information that you have to have. In here, that's going to be 20%, and that's going to be five cups. And we're saying of the cookie recipe. So to write that sentence, all we need to do is say 20% of five cups. And then we can bring it down. 20% we want to write as a decimal, because we're not going to multiply it as a percent. So 20% as a decimal is 2 tenths. Of means to multiply, and then you have five cups. 2 tenths times five. 2 times 5 gives you 10, and this is tenths, so it will be 1. So we have 1 cup. Uh, some of you might want to write that as just 1 cup, so that it is easier to read. Let's look at the next problem. While on her phone, Daria spends 30% of her time texting and the rest of the time on Snapchat. If she spent 4 hours on her phone yesterday, how much time did she spend on Snapchat? Okay, set it up similarly, pay careful attention to the wording because we did change one element here that you want to look at. Okay, one big thing we want to look at first is the information we need. So 30% of her time, but that's texting, okay? And the rest of the time on Snapchat, and she spent four hours yesterday. But what we want to pay attention to is that the question is asking about how much time on Snapchat. And this is 30% is texting, which means that we need to get that 70% on Snapchat. From there, we can put in our three word sentence and we can say 70% of her time or 70% of her time which is four hours okay so we have seven tenths of means multiply four seven tenths times four gives you two and eight tenths and so that's two and eight tenths of an hour on snapchat which means that if there are four hours total, we can take away those two and eight tenths, which gives us one and two tenths hours texting. So again, pay careful attention, make sure that you're answering what it is asking.